Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, this is Ziyong from CodeAndroid.org. Uh, today I'm here to bring to you the latest leak version of the HTC um, Hero build that just came out uh, an hour ago on XDA Developer. Um, I'm going to run through with you some of the new, U, new uh, UI changes, uh, some of the interesting stuff that you, should, you can see uh, in the upcoming HTC handsets. Um, right, just at the home screen, uh, this is not the newest uh, rosy home screen. Um, now, now I'm still running on the default uh, Android 1.5 home screen. Uh, but you can see distinctively that the color of the status bar has already changed. Um, previously, it's uh, previously it's white. Now it's gone completely black, and uh, it looks very much sleeker, uh, in my opinion. And um, over here, uh, you you can see st there's there's some icon changes like uh, context has changed to people, and uh, I'm also gonna show to you the HTC footprint application. Yeah, so some of the things are still not running properly yet, so I can't show you everything. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the changes in these four applications. Yeah. So first on to HTC footprints. Yeah. So HTC footprint is uh, an application whereby you could save your uh, favorite location, um, shopping or dining location, uh, traveling location, things like that. Um, as you could see, the whole interface resembles a lot like the HTC Touch Flow 3D interface on their Windows mobile phone. Yeah, so you just slide along the bar at the bottom and you go to the appropriate tab. Yeah, you, at the same time, you could just tap on the icon and it'll bring you to, to that uh, window. Yeah. So on with this, you can actually sh uh, save your location. So let's say I, I add a footprint. Right. Um, okay. So on the footprint, uh, what you do is you can take a picture of the place. Uh, right. You will take a picture of the place, and then uh, using GPS. It would then uh, get your location and then you could uh, save the place as your favorite shopping place or uh, favorite dining place etc. Uh, other than that, uh, there's also changes to the context menu. The, so um, as you can see, the whole UI of the context men the contact menu has uh, changed. Um, there's also this similar touch flow 3D-ish um, way of toggling through the different groups as well as your favorite contacts and things like that um, and also on top of that um, for each of for each of this contacts you not only that uh, you could say add their emails and things like that uh, oops you could actually also at the same time see your com your conversation topics with the person directly or email or pictures and uh, you could actually add, you can also add your your social network um, uh, settings with with every single one of your contacts um, in your contact list. So let's say if I go to the contact, yeah, you can see below you could actually add this person to your Facebook link, link them, link them up uh, in your Google account, yeah. Okay. Other than uh, the contact app, there's also changes to the music application. So um, as previously, the the music application is just four simple uh, tabs that you navigate. Now there's this uh, cover flow like looking UI, which you could actually, um, which you can actually toggle between the music files. Yeah, I don't have the album art on this um, for this music that for this uh. For, for this music that I have on my SD card, so uh, that's why they are not showing any uh, cover flow album art on this. Yeah. Uh, uh, last thing that I'm going to cover here is the changes in the browser. Um, let it load. As mentioned, this is still uh, an early build, so a lot of things are still running very slowly. Um, 
now the browser actually opens up in full screen they actually hit away the status bar um, compared to previous build um, more importantly if we go to bookmarks they have a new way of actually displaying the bookmarks now these are visual bookmarks over here oh, yeah you could actually see the the page instead of just the URL and the name description you could just scroll through all these uh, various bookmarks also you have the same UI in all your windows your various tab that you, that, that you create say yeah yeah so you have exactly the same UI as compared to the multi-tab uh, UI as previously yes. okay so that's all uh, that I'm going to cover today with regards to the hero build I hope that uh, uh, the next build for hero will be out soon and I will explain to that uh, in more details right thanks for watching